it's funny, you were talking about the marvelous setup for the big film, and then going from that to the cheesy westerns, all <laughs> within the same span of a few years. Yes, that's right. For you, is acting on TV and film very different things? TV and film? Well, it depends on the medium in a way, doesn't it? Um, and it depends on whether it's um, live or on film. There's certainly a big difference between theater acting and um, television. You really have to bring it down. You have to bring it down for films. You may even have to bring it down for films more than for television. I've been doing a, a series called Oz for cable television, HBO. And it's been a fascinating experience. We're now into our, about to shoot our fifth season. And I play a nun who is a psychologist and a um, drug counselor, a very 90s nun in the sense that, well, I should say 2000 nun, in the sense she's very contemporary. She doesn't wear a habit, nothing like that. She wears sneakers and jeans and what have you. And her language can sometimes be slightly salty. Um, what was fascinating and challenging and difficult originally about acting the part of this character, whose name is Sister Peter Marie Raimondo, is that it called, the series calls for very, very naturalistic acting styles. And everyone that was cast in it was wonderful that way. And there were actors that are specifically wonderful that way and also very often cannot do classical uh, work. It was very difficult for me at first because I've always been called upon to do dynamic, volatile, funny, outrageous, uh, ha ha, or even when it's a serious thing, very dynamic and big kind of characters. And for me to come way down like that was very difficult, really, really difficult. And I asked the directors of each episode, because we change the directors each time, I say, I tend to overstate, particularly with my face. I think, you know, I'm just looking like this when I'm really looking like that. So I said, you must tell me, not only for my sake, but for the sake of the show, because otherwise I'm really going to stand out like a sore thumb, and I'm not used, I'm not accustomed to behaving in such a natural way. And the thing about behaving in, in a very natural way is that it still needs a different kind of energy. It does need a theatrical energy. It can't just be natural, natural. It has to be a heightened kind of naturalness. And that's a difficult place to come to when you've been doing the kind of roles I have much of my life. So it's been a, a huge challenge, and it's been wonderful for me. It's um, interestingly, interestingly gotten me new respect for my peers, because no one's ever seen me behave this way on film before. I mean, some very, very respected and famous people have come up to me and said, I love your work on Oz, which is astonishing, too, given that I'm not really a lead. I'm one of the supporting people who's there all the time. But she, you know, Sister Peter Marie, it's not about her. It's about the characters in prison. And um, it's helped my acting technique immeasurably when I did the film with Ben Gazzara, who is kind of that kind of actor, we meshed beautifully. I don't know that we would have five years ago. So uh, I'm thrilled about it. I've, I've learned to um, go inside in a different way. Every actor has to go inside themselves anyway, but for different reasons and in different ways. And um, it's been nothing but beneficial to me. And I, I love it. I'm thrilled about that. I really become in some instances, a very understated actress in, in, in because of this show. And in the show, and, and the reviews, the critics' notices will sometimes reflect that. You know, very often I'll see things like, and Rita Moreno in a multi-layered uh, characterization. Oh, that's fabulous for me. You can't imagine. A woman who has an Oscar still can appreciate that. You bet. Well, you know, the, the wonderful thing about acting is that you keep learning. It's so different from a lot of other things. You keep, you never, ever, ever stop learning in, in uh, 
when you're an actor or an actress. There's always something new, a new way to approach something. It's, it's fascinating. So let me, I said Oscar. I should have said Oscar, Tony, Granny, Emmy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the one thing that I did want to ask. Well, there's more. This Cable Ace Award for Oz. There's two Oz Awards for the Ola Awards, which are Hispanic awards. There's one for Lifetime Achievement. There's a bunch of Lifetime Achievements lately. As you get older, you begin to get those. <laughs> you know That's how you know you're getting older. Well, I think you're like a question of many trivia games. You know, who is yeah, the, yeah. yeah. I'm the only woman who, in competition with my peers, it's important to state that, has won all of them because there are a couple of ladies who won all of them, but one is one of the awards is honorary. Have you ever had the luxury of an acting class? Not too much. Um, I studied some when I was about um, in my 20s. I went to class, and it was really very, it's a wonderful class. And I studied with a man named Jeff Corey, who everybody went to. In fact, I remember Burt Reynolds coming in to a class one day and saying to my girlfriend who was sitting next to me, because at the time I was going with Marlon Brando, I saw Bert come in and I said, he doesn't stand a chance. He looks just like Marlon. <laughs> He's just funny. He did, but he really did resemble him on a, on a more common man uh, basis because Marlon did have an unusual face. He, he looked like, like a Roman coin, whereas Bert looked like a very sexy hunk. But he looked like Marlon. What do you mean? You know, we were talking about some of the uh, older TV appearances that you did. One that we did want to cover was you got to work with Jack Benny. Yes, isn't that amazing? I know. I did work with Jack Benny. It was right after West Side Story. I did that. As a result of West Side Story, I did a guest star stint on that, and I did a guest star stint on the Perry Como show also because of West Side Story. And, uh, oh, it was marvelous. It was just, uh, God, there I was with the master. What was the Spanish sketch? The Spanish sketch. Well, I think we did a takeoff on, um, on West Side Story. And uh, I don't remember it anymore, but it was really quite funny. He was trying to be a shark. <laughs> Jack Benny is a shark. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Do you have any special uh, memories about working with him, his, his famed timing? Um, he was... Um, well, you know, the thing about him... As with all people like him, like George Burns and people like that, it was just there. It's not something they had to work at. Sid Caesar is like a Sid. Sid is my hero. He always has been. You know, most people say, "Well, who's you know your hero? The actor." It's not an actor. It's Sid. Who is? He's many actors. Sid, brilliant. I think he's a genius. Um, they have that. I don't think anybody ever taught them that. Obviously, experience has a great to do with it. I think my timing is my comic timing is pretty good. I don't say it's brilliant though, but I think it's pretty good. And a, a good part of that comes from instinct, and another part of that comes from just experience, learning when is exactly the right time to say that line. 